What's the crack, lads? It's that time again. It's Thursday, and we're going to have more Player of the Weeks. Beckenbauer is still going to be ongoing as well, and we should have a fresh round of objectives. They should be dropping every Thursday with a brand new logging campaign kicking off as well. It's the same logging campaign. It's free spins at Beckenbauer that we can claim here. You're also going to continue to get your login bonus. But usually, it's all about uh, the Player of the Weeks, right? So these objectives here that you have right here, these are going to be continued to be cleared and it's ending in 14 days. So we will probably get a fresh batch of these as you see here with these Beckenbauer's ones. I am on my second profile. On my other profile, we've already achieved pretty much everything here. But you can continue to unlock these and they'll kind of refresh and that you'll be able to go again and get more. Because we're going to be getting 50 plus for the campaign objectives cleared. We're going to get 50 plus spins. So you will definitely get Beckenbauer as well as the 21 login bonuses, as you see here, we're going to continue to be able to spin for these and spin and spin and spin. As for the, ch the big time cards and stuff, Roma is going to be gone. We're potentially going to be getting Manchester United, um, but I'm not too sure who we're going to be getting here yet. It could be a re-release of the Manchester United one to tie in with the new event that's going to be kicking off. Or also, we, may, we might get Blitz Curler. A lot of people have been talking about Blitz Curler. We also have the Epics that are going to be gone as well. It's hard to predict these now because all the players are already in the database. You know, it's, it's kind of harder to predict the Thursday ones apart from the Player of the Weeks. We know the Player of the Weeks are going to be gone. We'll get into that in a second. But you can continue to clear this. As you see here, on our second profile, our free-to-play profile, we've 10 spins already taken here. We do get Marcus Rashford with the temp spin. But yeah, we can continue to clear this and continue to com uh, complete those campaigns, right? But it's all going to be about the Worldwide Player of the Weeks. These Player of the Weeks, I'm working on a video of how to improve this as a bit of feedback. So do get in touch or continue to uh, get your feedback. We're just taking our time with making the video. But it looks like, as usual, Konami have tweeted out a couple of new uh, teasers. Now, it's kind of easy enough to predict who's going to be getting the two boosters because of the games that they had and because of, you know, obviously scoring two goals. But as usual, it doesn't take long for our guys to decide what players that are going to be there and match them up with the images that are, you know, released, right? So this is from our good friend Arrow with the little mock-up here. Phil Foden, Pedri, and the third player looks to be Tommy Ashu. This is going to be an interesting one, I think, because Tommy Ashu is definitely one of the best cards in the game. And I feel like he hasn't got like a beastly card, proper beastly card until his uh, his last big time one. I know the other card that they released was quite decent as well, the Arsenal Club Pack one. Pedri and Phil Foden, it'll be interesting to see what their max levels are. I would presume Foden is going to get a really beastly card um, if this is him. And this would also come with a pack of 11. So there are going to be eight more players. Those eight players, well, we're predicting three, right? Lacazette saw a lot to score. Of course, he scored four goals against Madrid the other day, um, the La Liga champs. And Guler, Arda Guler, he hasn't had a card in a while. Um, well, it's been a couple of weeks since he's had a proper card. So those are three predictions. Let me know who you think deserves a shout for a player of the week usually the cutoff for the player of the week happens two days before thursday so it's usually monday night um but it can depend it depends it's usually on the saturday and sunday games right but it's all going to be about lads in my opinion it's all going to be about whatever cards you guys prefer because at the end of the day these player of the weeks we've we've spoken a lot about it um i feel like now at this stage the draw is usually towards the european club attackers and I would definitely like to see them change this up that you're able to spin these Player of the Weeks for GP. I think that would instantly make these, these Player of the Week boxes just give us three spins that cost 50,000 GP each. And then if you want three spins with the coins, you can clear the box and clear half of the box. So instead of just getting three spins and a free spin for playing the event, give us three spins with the coins if we want that as a, you know, um, a, ch a choice for people that want to spin coins. But give us three that want to spin with GP as well. And it would kind of make the Player of the Week's work grinding. Just a simple suggestion, but we'll be working on our video for that. Until then, boys, I will be back live streaming tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button. You, you guys have been amazing lately with the support. Smashing through 45,000 subscribers. Nearly on 46 now. Um, by the time we put that out, it's just been crazy. We will be back. We're going to have a couple of giveaways over the next few days. And we'll be back with a couple of big videos as well. So don't forget to check out the stream tomorrow. And I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.